Welcome back. Today I want to talk about how to organize the dresser or the nightstand by your bedside. And I thought I would make this video really simple. New Year is right around the corner, so it's a great time to get everything in order because outer outer peace or outer calm, outer organization contributes to the inside. So it really helps in that way, especially during the winter months, just moving a couple of things around and getting a fresh perspective and getting a little bit organized can really make a big difference for the new year. So today we're gonna to talk about the nightstand. And the nightstand is a really important place to organize just like the medicine cabinet because you use it every day. When you use an area every day, it's the perfect place to start because you're going to get the most payback for your effort. Just a little bit of effort goes a long way in these areas. So when it comes to the nightstand, I keep it barest of the bare. I like to have a couple of books. So when I designed this nightstand, I designed it and I built it with my mentor. I designed it with a ledge underneath it so that I could keep the books that I'm working on right then and there. I have two books out by my bedside and one of them is a journal. So I really recommend keeping a journal. It can be a journal of anything that you hold dear. Maybe you write poetry Poetry. maybe you have a lot of vivid dreams but for me I really like this journal which is called the 52 list for happiness so basically it gives you 52 lists for the year one for each week and what you do is you write down the things that it really makes you think it's the things that really make you happy and the things that really make you think and then you can have a lot of clarity and a lot of vision for the next year a lot of times I get spread out in so many different directions and then I lose my focus, but when I really boil it down, when I sit with myself, I gain my clarity again. What The message that I really carry inside is I want to make things as simple and as efficient as possible when it comes to everyday living so that if people are just starting over, for instance, if you're older and you're about to retire or you're starting over, you just need clarity in life, or maybe you're like me, you just moved from Hawaii, you're going to college and you need very few things to be able to know where to start and to be able to get a good, to have a good head on your shoulders and to be able to make a good headway into whatever direction that your dreams are going to take you. Because we really need people that are passionate and that have dreams. So getting all the mundane things out of the way and getting to minimalism and organization really helps to power through into the direction that you would like. Journaling really helps. And if you don't want a free form journal, that's okay, you can get a, a list like this. There's a couple of these, but this one's my favorite. And then I'm also reading a book that was recommended called The Progress Paradox. And it looked very interesting. I heard good things about Greg Easter book, so I've been reading The Progress the progress paradox. But keeping a couple of books by your bedside, of course, always a good idea. In fact, if I didn't need books, I might not even have a bedside table because there's almost nothing else in there. So the next thing on top of my bedside is a sunlight, a sunlight lamp. And the reason why I keep this here is so that it warms me up during the winter months. It basically helps you to, if you suffer from insomnia, to get enough light and get enough sunlight in the day. It really helps with that. But for me personally and for Pat, we really like the warmth. So the sunlight keeps me really warm. Pat right now is in the bathroom and she's resting up on the shelf. And that's because it's really close to the lights. So it's very warm. And that's the same idea with the sunlight. And then the next thing is my night cream and there and the night cream is just a great thing to have on the side so you don't have to get out of bed especially in the winter months it can get really dry so i'm going to open up my nightstand and then tell you what i keep in here to give you some ideas for organization so here i have my nightstand and i made the drawer purposefully black so that it kind of just disappears it creates an optical kind of an illusion like that and i really like that so in my nightstand i keep these earplugs because I've always, I got used to wearing earplugs for a long, long time now. I keep them in a beaker like this just to keep them separate from the other stuff. And also it looks a little bit nicer than a plastic jar or something like that. And then I have my melatonin. My melatonin really helps me to sleep on the nights that I don't get exercise or I don't get enough sun. If I get enough exercise and sun, I don't need to worry about it. If I'm eating good, I don't need to worry about it. Every once in a while though, melatonin really helps. And then Aleve. Aleve is probably the thing that I use the most, but for anything like migraines or if it's the time of the month, I'll take Aleve. And the last thing is 
cranberry pills. It really helps to keep your urinary tract, might be too much information, but it helps to keep it clear. And so if you're eating a lot of sugar, especially during the holidays and pies or other things like that, then this really helps to keep everything clear, especially for women. So I always keep cranberry pills on me. I could get away with the nightstand a fourth of the size that I built it, but the reason why I kept it the size that I did is because you want enough space on the surface to be able to put your books, which is why I have a shelf underneath. And then in enough space on the top uh, as well and bigger furniture also makes the place feel a little bit homey for me so the bigger size fills up the gaps and it feels more warm inside so I hope that you like this video on how to organize a nightstand it's just a very little project you can knock out of the way in less than 30 minutes and then your life will be so much better and every time you turn in for, to bed it will be so easy to find things if you guys have any other organization ideas let me know for nightstands let me know in the down bar and definitely add me on Instagram because I always post things on organization and also cleaning and minimalism on there also thank you guys so much for watching <music>